so first thing with uh, replacing the uh, stock exhaust with the uh, Scorpion circuit taper over there uh, and a good British exhaust I'll talk about it more later but uh, let's get the before sound how's the stock sound too too bad but I, I want something a little bit deeper a little bit more growly and uh, that's hopefully what the scorpion is going to allow so that's the stock exhaust before I take it off and uh, put on the scorpion okay so before I get uh, ready to install the exhaust while I'm taking the fairings off and uh, getting everything else ready, I want to prepare the uh, silencer here. And what I mean is, as I said in the beginning when I unpackaged this, one thing that I'm not a big fan of with this is the, uh, hopefully you can see that, is this red ring. It just doesn't go with my green bike color scheme. Uh, at least I don't think it does. So, two things I'm going to do. First, I'm going to remove this... Uh, I'm going to remove this sticker. If it wasn't for the fact that it would uh, would mar the finish, I would just use an X-Acto knife and I would cut that out. But there are other stickers that come with the kit, so I'm just going to take this off and put another one on after I've cut the red off. But as far as this goes, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this uh, clear MAC tack here, and I'm going to mask the uh, top here except for this red ring. And what I'm going to use is some uh, green engine enamel paint that I've already got prepared from when I did my uh, from when I did my brake calipers. This is what's left of it. Now it did come originally in a spray can. Unfortunately, I didn't make a video about this, but when I was doing my brake calipers, uh, I'll throw a picture up of that. Um, I didn't want to use spray paint because it's just too uh, too, diff too difficult to control without having to uh, remove the calipers completely, which I didn't want to have to do. So I wanted to brush paint them. So what I did uh, is, uh, lots of people out on their bikes today. Um, what I did is I took an aerosol uh, engine enamel green paint can and I uh, held the can upside down and I let the propellant out. I let out as much as I could and then I took a, a special type of um, can opener that uh, does a clean cut around the side of something and I, I cut the bottom of the paint can off and I, I don't have it here uh, with me to show you but what it, what it allowed me to do is just pull the bottom off the cap uh, of the can. So then I just poured the uh, rest of the paint into this jar here and was able to brush uh, the paint which is a high heat. I think it's like maximum uh, 500, uh, 500 degrees that it'll uh, withstand. So that'll be more than enough for, for what I need for this exhaust. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to MAC tack cover this, uh, uh, the black plastic area here. I could probably just take these rivets off and uh, disassemble it and get the, the ring out itself. But honestly, I don't really feel like having to replace all these rivets and doing all that. So it'll be just as easy for me to uh, mask this area off. I could use tape, but I think that this MAC tack will do uh, a really good job. And uh, then uh, just brush this up a little bit with uh, some uh, sandpaper, rough it up a bit so that the paint adheres well, and uh, that should be good. Okay, so to prepare the MAC tack, what you're going to want to do is, uh, and you can see here it says uh, clear transparent. That's what you're going to want uh, so that you're going to be able to see the area you're masking off. What you're going to want is to gauge the area that you're going to be needing to cover. So right about here should be fine. And then you're going to take some scissors. This doesn't tear very well because it's uh, this plastic stuff. I'm going to just take this right off. And then what you're going to do is just cut an area that's big enough. I'm going to go a little bit bigger than I need to. It'll help me to peel it off later.
So that's more than enough than what I need. Let's cut it down to one more square and then cut up. It doesn't have to be perfect. And we can save the rest for another job. Now this stuff here uh, was about $5 at my local home hardware store. I'm not going to be able to get that back in too easy, so I'll just put it aside for now. But it's removable is the key. So it's great for masking. I could use uh, some frog tape or some uh, of the green painter's tape. You need a small brush since we're doing detail work. And now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put this over top. Uh, once I peel the backing off, I'm just going to put it over top and mask the area off. Then I'm going to use an X-Acto knife to cut out around the area that uh, I'm going to actually be painting. But what I'm going to do first is uh, see if I can't get... Uh, this, this, is, this ring here is going to be a bit of a problem. Uh, I'd like to be able to mask it off. I'll see what I can do about that. Maybe use some green painter's tape uh, to get it down inside so that I can uh, paint this without having to worry about it getting too much on the outside of the ring here. But uh, in any case... I'm going to uh, mask this off and uh, be right back. 